Football fans uniting, they say, to end extremism. The Football Lads Alliance was formed last June after the attacks in Manchester and London Bridge. The group wants the government to do more to prevent so-called terror attacks and are calling for tighter controls on those who might be considered a threat. But here in Birmingham, one of Britain's most diverse cities, the march is seen by many as promoting intolerance, something the group's founder denies. In terms of the, the, the demographics and, and, and the makeup of our people, you know, these are, these are patriotic people who care about their country. They're not, they're not racist individuals. Um, there'll always be people who try and attach themselves to groups who have their own agendas. Um, but I can categorically say that myself, I'm not a racist. And in terms of our messages, no racism, no violence, that's something we've promoted from the outset. The Football Lads Alliance was formed only a few months ago, but already it's gained a very large following on social media. Tens of thousands of people have attended their last two demonstrations. But despite their message of unity, some people accuse them of harboring racist messages. An offshoot of the FLA confronting an anti-racism counter-rally held a few steps away grew tense. And it's this aggression that many say is on the rise in the country. Right-wing material on the internet fueled the attack at a mosque in London last year when a man drove into worshippers killing one person. And the former head of counterterrorism policing says that far-right extremism has become a significant threat to the UK, something anti-racism activists say needs to be addressed. A group of people, former hooligans who think they can bully people, don't start to decide how we run or live our lives. We want to live together in peace and harmony. But achieving that will be difficult as nationalist voices in the UK and across Europe grow stronger. Catherine Stansel, Al Jazeera, Birmingham.